Tamsin Althwaite and Gillian Wright have teamed up for a brand new West End play, How the Other Half Lives. Oh, oh loves. Oh, loves. It's a play. Easily, it's a twist. Easily mistake that, to make. That's another that's thing another that's show. in my head because I'm sat next <laughs> yeah. to you that we're not going to talk about. Oh, but you can show. catch it coming in the summer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so How the Other Half Loves. Um, girls, thank you so much for joining us. No, this is so exciting. So when I saw your name on the brief yesterday, I had a small heart you attack. Did. I did. I was like, what? <laughs> What? What? I, can't, I really thought this was going to be an EastEnders thing. Oh. I know, but well, they're going I'm not back, disappointed. They're going back. I'm not disappointed because this play looks amazing. We've been having a little read back. Now, I know this is quite hard because it's a bit tricky. A bit tricky. A little bit what? tricky, but tell us about the play. Yes, it's quite <laughs> difficult to explain, but it's about three separate couples, different social classes, yeah. and I'm not going to reveal the plot because yeah. it's hilarious, but mm. you have to see it, really. Um, and I think it's the only scene, the dinner party scene, which is extremely famous, is the only time, I think, in any play you'll see two separate locations on two consecutive evenings being played out simultaneously. On one stage? Yes. OK. And this is an Alan Aitborn play, is that yes. right? Yes. yes. So it's been done a yes. few times, you've seen it, and so people might know the story. Can you give us a rough idea of the story? So the three couples, well, how are they all involved? Or is that The three you... men uh, all uh, work together. Yeah. Two, it's so <laughs> cool. I feel like I've got a stick, and I'm going to go, yeah, go get up. You're, You're not even involved, involved with anything. You don't want to be. To, without our knowledge. OK. And uh, which obviously is funny. When, yeah. you know. And your Mary. Yeah. So what kind of character is Mary? How would you describe her? Well, how would you describe her? Mary the mouse. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's got a lot of character traits of Jane, really, hasn't she? With the sort of the Tim. None at all. <laughs> <laughs> the odd little bit every she, now and yeah, again. Yeah, she is quite timid, but she does, through the course of the play, find her voice. Mm. So, uh, and yeah. then you're Terry, or Teresa yes. or Terry. Yes. Um, and do you find out about this? Uh, yes, I do. She's quite bright, Terry. She, um, she kind of waits until the end, but um, it's... It's kind of mishaps and... Teresa herself, Terry yeah. herself, because she starts very feisty woman, yeah, she you know. Does. she's really, really feisty. Really she, up for it. But and she... her and her husband, I think, they're, they're quite sex, drugs and rock and roll. It's mm. the 60s. But this baby's come along. Pressed and yeah. she's a bit low and she's stuck in the house. And, and what about Mary and her marriage? What state is her marriage in? She's or... quite under the thumb, really, to begin yeah. with, I think. Yeah, her husband's a bully, isn't he? Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. But she's not... She's quite happy with that. Yeah. Mm. That's what she's used just, to. Yeah. And she's, she's hilarious, basically. You, you oh, I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> <laughs> I really wouldn't. It's a great cast, but you mm. must rely on each other a lot in comedy because timing is all, isn't it? It is. Yes. And when there's a, an ensemble cast like that... This particular you can't play, the timing it... was... I mean, it's, it's in, when we get it right, it's impeccable, but well, we only had three weeks. The script is so succinct, it's yeah. so tight. Mm. You have to pay attention to all the punctuation, not add any extra words because the rhythm then goes and then the comedy goes, you know. So it's um, a tight, tight script, which is lovely to work on. Yes, yeah, sometimes when you change something in, in one of the lines, like you just swap it round or you forget an O or a comma or an and, it doesn't get the laugh and you wonder mm. why and then you look back at the script and you realise, oh, I've forgotten the O. And that's <laughs> what Aitbon does. He, he sets everything up so beautifully that the rhythms are, are the it reason it works. So well always fits so well. Yeah. Such it, it's such a, a great cast. Look, Jenny Steve Grove, Nicholas Lefrievos, Jason Merrills, uh, Matthew Cottle as well. All getting on well? Any rows? No, no, we adore each other. And we've got about ten seconds, I've got to ask. I know you're coming back to EastEnders very soon. Well, you're pop yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We're>, I, <I'm, laughs> It was written on the. It was written on there, so legally I'm allowed to say it. Well, she, before Jean, I get out of color. Jean has been popping back. I have been popping back. To yeah. Stacey. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Mel. I don't know if I, I don't know anyone there anymore, apart from Ian and. and we can introduce Bill. you. I'll take Bill. you up there. Yeah. <laughs> like there's Kathy no, Bell. I, mean, I don't know how, why Mel. I don't know if there's any link anymore. But now maybe we could link up. Yeah, you could come with me. <laughs> you could say that, that Jean and Mel have done a play in the West End together. Yeah, that's why we haven't seen yeah, them. Got for on a while. well, exactly. and we thought we'd both just go back to the square. For <laughs> Listen, girls, it was so lovely to join us um, today. Uh, Thank you for having us. At the Theatre Royal Haymarket until June the 25th. How the Half Half Loves. Good luck with it. Make sure we get some tickets. Yes, well. you must come. Yeah. It sounds very funny. Thank, Thank you. you.